Hi there, how's it going? My current setup isn't ideal, but life has taught me that you have to act out and do what you can with what you have. If you want to keep waiting until things are ideal or things are in the right place, or if you're gonna wait until it's the right time, then man, you're gonna be waiting for a long, long, long time. And in the end, you're only gonna be doing something so small. So doesn't matter, don't wait for ideal, act out. And perhaps that's what I'm doing. So instead of waiting for the ideal and waiting for the right circumstances or the right time, just do it and grow as you go. Get better as you are running. Can you imagine yourself just running fast and you're stumbling, you're about to fall, yet while you're running, you're you're learning the motion, you're you're adapting to your own pace. That's, that's how life is, and that's how you get good at, at whatever it is that you're doing. I've seen a lot of people who do parody, and, and, and I'm not saying they have parody accounts. No, their own persona is them being a parody of someone else. So they they would see someone who's famous or someone who um, is known for a certain thing and they would mm, they would leech on that other person's personality and they imitate it for laughs and giggles and all that nice funny stuff i i have nothing to do with any of that but what that made me think you know when you have this tendency or or feeling that hey this person is saying something funny i want to make fun of it or i want to uh, imitate it sure imitation is the highest form of flattery but i'm not talking about imitating them just to show that you can imitate them no um, you're acting like they are being so the problem with that and the problem with doing anything that doesn't really define you is that it's going to define you. This is going to be who you are. So an example is, let's say you have a podcast, you're wearing a tank top and you're wearing a, a drawing glove now by doing this thing you're not just hey i want to do this and toss it out and people will listen to it or they're not going to listen to it no this this will be kind of defining it will define you you're this person who is calm who tries to talk about things that matter to them and that will reflect who you are you cannot do things and behave a certain way without it grabbing on to you and defining you so your actions your words they need to be chosen i wouldn't say carefully they need to be chosen with knowledge with knowing that by acting out you are willingly defining yourself while you're doing that now here's the beauty in such a thing now when you do the things that matter to you when you say and talk about the things that you care about that will be defining to you and and what i'm what i'm also thinking is let's say there are a lot of problems in this world there are a lot of subjects to care about and pursue and try to make better when you choose something you are you are using your limited resource 
your limited time and effort and attention and your limited self to pursue such a thing, to take the flag of that subject and go with it and that's going to be you. If, if you go into politics, you're going to be a politician. Sure, there will be other aspects of your life that can, you know, also define you. That, that's always the case. You cannot just be one tiny thing. You can be several things. But if you're a politician or an athlete or an artist or, in, or an engineer or, or a lawyer or whatever it is that you choose. If you ha just go and try to have fun with it, and I'm, I'm not saying the, the, the fun that you enjoy doing, no, I'm saying the, the kind that's stupid, the kind that's just for mockery, you're going to end up being defined by it rather than you just judging it because here's the thing you think you're just making fun of someone else or something else you think that hey i'm 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 an outsider i'm an op i'm an observer i am the audience and i get to throw my opinion at that thing i get to mock it i get to have fun and i get to have fun and make fun of it but you're being defined as this person who is throwing at this subject. Um, I, I hope that got clearer. Now, if you decide to pursue a certain path, and this path isn't exactly your field of interest, it just happens to be viral or agitating or provocative because there's there's this thing that a lot of people capitalize on and uh, and that is choosing subjects that are controversial and subjects that agitate people and it it really provokes reactions from people let's say and and I'm trying to find a mild example here Let's say someone acts out that they are a certain way and they're lying. It's, it's very obvious. They're doing it just to say that, hey, everyone is paying attention to me. Everyone wants me. What's wrong with you people? Why do you do this? And people will start reacting. What the hell is wrong with this person? Why is this person doing this? Um, I know that this person is lying and, and you would go and talk to your friends about it and you would go and post on social media about it. You're actively being defined as someone who focuses on this person. You, you become a side character in a way and even when you go back to your main character story, your own story, that dropped off on you. You're, you're still kind of defined as, hey, I'm, I'm someone who got agitated by this. I'm someone who mocked it. I'm someone who perhaps imitated it sarcastically. Um, I'm someone who became a parody of this thing. And, and that is such a tremendous amount of energy, effort, and personality that can be refined into something that you actually you want to be defined by if you take just that small chunk of your effort and you get agitated by these things and you interact with them and you talk about them that that's the thing when you talk about them it isn't just about you observing them knock yourself out you know but when you're interacting and you're, you're, you're not just taking and listening and being an audience, you're, you're, how do I say this? You're not just observing and absorbing, you're providing and you're giving and you're talking. So be aware of those things. Choose the things that you 
know what you want to be defined by. Now, on that subject, one of the things that I would like to focus on, not not just be defined by, I'm, I'm not focused, I'm not focusing on the definition itself, I'm focusing on the actions and the behaviors and the things that matter to me. I want to do the things that I like, do the things that I think I'm good at and can improve upon with practice and with repetition. So I try to do art, I work out consistently, I aim to write as much as I can and I want to do the podcast more often, I want to talk more on my channel, hopefully it will help someone, it will be entertaining and it will be something that someone is currently watching and is enjoying. And that in itself leads me to another subject, which is confidence. Now, when you're providing and you're being defined by your own actions and your own words, you need to be confident in yourself and you need to believe in yourself. And rather than wait for someone to reassure you and to give you the things that you would like to believe like you don't want your confidence and your self assurance to come from outside of you someone you you don't want to just sit down and be like waiting for someone to come to you and be like hey i believe in you you're doing a good job keep it going Now, it's nice when people recognize what you do. It's nice when they accommodate you. It's it's nice when they say these things about you. And it's wonderful when the things that you do have positive effects on others. That's, That's an amazing thing. But if your confidence and your self, self-image is dependent on them and it isn't coming from within you then then it's it's gonna be difficult for you to min- to maintain it it's not gonna be there it's gonna be not something you truly believe in you just need someone else to tell you that so how do you get confident in yourself well there are a lot of factors that i can think of one of them is instead of putting yourself down and saying hey what i'm doing is bad or saying things like you know what i don't know what i'm doing or i'm i'm average at best and you know you talk down to yourself you put yourself down and you're like you're suffering from this Dunning-Kruger effect. Like you've, you've, you've gone up the slope, you know, at the start when you're like, wow, I'm the best. And then you started learning more and then you plummeted down. And now you're in this area thinking that you're terrible and you're bad. And you know, whatever you do, you're not, you're not going to get good. Forget all of that keep grinding, keep acting, keep trying to do the best that you can do, but be confident in yourself because the prop, the problem with you not believing in yourself is that even when you do a great job, you will not see it. You'll, you'd be like, ah, I got lucky. Uh, you know, others did it better than I am doing it. Others are doing it better than I'm doing. And, and you know, you, you, you're you basically your own bully. So how do, you, how do you alter that? How do you become your best friend? And trust me, you, you need to learn to become your own best friend. You do it by treating yourself 
like you are someone who you love you are your friend and you are someone who you care about so when you say these things about yourself when you say you know what i'm amazing what i'm doing matters i'm really getting good i'm really improving and you know i'm making a difference and and i'm enjoying what i love doing you might think god that's that's cringe that's uh, that's narcissistic and um, uh, nobody says that uh, it it sounds stupid none of that matter what actually matters is you say these things to the people you love you say these things to your friends and you say them to the people who do perhaps tenth of what you do you see someone who does something and you're like wow that's amazing keep it up i believe in you yes good job you're you're gonna get places all right why don't you say that to yourself obviously not just go out get a microphone and and you know tell everyone hey guys i'm i'm amazing i'm the best you don't have to actually actually let me put it, put it this way people who do that they're not confident because confidence is quiet it's reassured it's it's internal someone who knows their worth someone who's confident who have faith and knowledge in their own abilities they don't go out showing off or talking about it or saying hey guys i'm 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 great no they know it within and they're comfortable with it so learn to love yourself and learn to be confident learn to deserve the treatment that you truly deserve from yourself learn to earn the treatment that you deserve from yourself and you do that by reassurance by i i, I would say talking to yourself having an inner monologue and i do think that we all talk to ourselves albeit that most of us talk negatively to ourselves I'll tell you something. I used to obsess over what to wear for the podcast and sometimes I'd be like, "Hey, I can't I can't be wearing a tank top. I can't be wearing this or that or maybe I've worn the same shirt before and if I wear it again, people will think, "Oh my god, he's wearing the same shirt he wore in his last episode." Nobody cares. That's all internal that's all in in my own head everyone else is worried about their own problems everyone is thinking what do i need to do and you know when you think that oh god i did stupid things before i've done this stupid thing and that silly thing and that was embarrassing you would think that others remember that and they're like thinking about it just as much as you are thinking about it they they go back home and they're like maybe a week later they're like oh god i remember when they did that stupid thing oh that was embarrassing no people think about themselves they barely think about you if at all which which isn't a bad thing in fact i think that's a wonderful thing that's an amazing thing the fact that it doesn't matter brings with it so much freedom but here's where the balance lies and and the balance is also a beautiful thing instead of wasting your energy and time by focusing on things that really don't matter to you things that are as i mentioned i i would define them as parody um, mimicking someone else making fun of someone else and and talking about how silly someone was 
that will define you so instead instead do the things that you would be happy to be defined by sometimes sometimes when you're in the moment when you're interacting or you're you're being active i would say you don't think that the way you behave has an impact and you think that yeah, it's fine it's it's just me i can say that i can do that i can act stupid and i can act silly to an extent yes you can but sometimes you need to pay attention not to do or say things that you know are not coming from within you you know that these things are not you but you're saying them just because in the present moment it doesn't matter i can be stupid i can be silly pay attention because if you act like that all the time and by all the time i mean every time you're actively interacting that might define who you are you're that person who makes fun of others who makes fun of people who are defined in in a negative light you know and it doesn't matter it's, it isn't even about those people who do whatever they do so pay attention to what you do god i i feel like every time i'm i'm about to wrap up um, a subject or a video i i feel like i want to summarize them like 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 I'm that uncle or something. Anyway, thank you for listening. If you've enjoyed this, you know what to do. Take care, and I'll talk to you next time.